Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 64 in this game we'll be taking this game in this video we'll be taking a look at midnight resistance released by ocean in 1990 obviously on all the usual suspects uh spectrum amstrad commodore 64 atari st and amiga and there was a mega drive port but that was by sega and not ocean software although in this case if you look at the bottom of the screen you can see at least the spectrum version i believe the amstrad version were done by special fx who did just did so much good stuff on the Spectrum. And this is considered, it might take a bit of getting used to how it looks if you've never seen um, this on the Spectrum, but this is considered to be one of the games that really does push the limits of the Spectrum because of how quite large um, a game it is. Now, obviously, uh, it was released in the arcades in 1989 by Data East. And in the arcades, it was one or two simultaneous player where you were, well, resistance fighters in a dystopian future going to rescue a girlfriend, I'm not sure whose girlfriend, from a drug dealer. See, I always find that a bit weird, dystopian future, but the main bad guy is a drug dealer. You will collect points along the way, which will allow you to upgrade or buy weapons with different um, sort of effects and levels of damage now on the spectrum it doesn't scroll you know what well, it doesn't scroll like the Commodore 64 it's got a push screen sort of effect get to the end of the screen next screen and stuff like that uh, this is the 1 to 8k version but I first played this well I played it in the arcade where it had twisty joysticks may I add which obviously means it takes a hit here on all home versions to be fair um, I've got a gameplay of the arcade and the Mega Drive if you'd like to see that but this is Spectrum vs Commodore so yeah you know it takes a hit in that department but basically think Contra you know there you go think Contra but I first played it on a one level demo on the front of Sinclair user because special FX were pretty good at doing that right we want to by the way it says at the bottom winners don't use drugs because there was this whole thing across all video games back in the day so hey kids don't do drugs well winners do use drugs but you don't know that they use drugs because they found a way to get around you finding out that they use drugs that was how drugs worked in the 80s and the 90s. I'm not defending drugs. Tell us this is what happened in the 80s and the 90s. Cough, Olympics, and all kinds of shit. We're looking at you. Random. Right, keys. Keys are uh, C for hold, which is pause. Fire pack. Uh, is that your upgrade? I can't remember. I haven't played this in ages. Fire gun. M again, not space. M. Q up, A down, O left, P right. Keys okay? Yes, keys are okay. Uh, one keyboard. Now we get music. You get music in the game, but it's cool music. Like I said, it's a 1 to 8K ROM. There is a 48K one. Let's all just enjoy that. And if you read down from the top to bottom of the charts, or high scores, it's doing one of those, look at us, we've written comments and we're funny. Yeah. That's good music. Right, M, fire to play. Right, so you get dropped in behind the car. Can you jump on the... Yeah, you can jump on the car. Fire. You can fire in all directions. In the arcade, you would stay behind the car for a bit. Right. And like I said, that's really, really colourful, and I'm dead. Um, see, it's a spectrum thing. They've really exaggerated the graphics, because these are the guys who did Cabal as well, and they like doing this. And i got to be honest, I kind of like this. It takes a bit of used to getting... Uh, it takes a bit of time getting used to the controls. Oh, she's retreating. Thanks for the lift. And shit. Feel free to take them out. See, bottom left. These twisty, turny lollipop things. Which you lose when you die. Pick them up, because that's your money for when you can select guns. Which you can't on this state, I don't think. I don't... Fucking hell, I don't remember it being this difficult. Keep your eyes... I was going to say on the road. Keep your eyes peeled. You've got infinite ammunition. Duck, Dave. Duck. Right, we're just going to get tricky. But yeah, you know, it's, it's that whole kind of monochromic mix of bits of colour here, but not to push it too much. Like it did with Cabal, to, you know, so it's not boring and shit, but you haven't got massive amounts of attribute clash. But like I said, I 
love this on the Spectrum. The, the explosions when you shoot hardware are coloured, that's cool. I don't remember being this hard. Right. And there's no way to hold it to move around then. There we go, look at that. Try to work out what Zed does. Oh, oh shit, I thought I could duck it. And I'm dead. Wow, that was, that was, um, I hate it when it does that. I was going to type in balls hard and make a joke because I wouldn't have said it. See what I mean? But... Right. All right, in your own time, title screen. Right, I'm going to keep up with the car. Oh, look how fast. I can run, I'm Bionic Man, I can get killed. I'm not the Bionic Man. That would appear to be the future. Hey, that would be the future. Stay on the bloody car like you do in the arcade. It seems to be quite good at taking out the bastards from behind. Now she runs off. That's what you do, because that's what you do in the arcades. Oh, look at that. I'm getting a feel for the controls. So like I said, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I like this graphic style. It doesn't have to be serious. Look at me! Yeah. This got massive reviews. I think the highest review it got was in Crash Magazine. It's... There's going to be a... Stay on your feet. There's going to be a gun turret thingy, isn't there? Isn't there? The only thing that's awkward is jumping and firing forwards. Yep. Yeah. That was my bad. I need them. Ooh. There is there is a trick to avoiding his bullets. Which I'm not doing very well. But you could just shoot him in the fucking bottom half of his body. Body? Wheels? Tracks? I don't know. It's been a while since I played this. This is pretty accurate to the arcade though. You know how the level progresses. Should be a gun right above me. No, that's my Oh, no, there is. Yeah, got you. I mean, is it better graphics in Contra? That's for you to decide. I like these kind of keys. Lost your keys on the way back from the pub? Just blow a hole in the door. Right, there should be guns and tanks in here. Right, so that takes two. That takes two, that takes two. So, uh, we'll go with that. I'm not sure what it does. But I've got shit left. And we'll go with that. Oh, that's what Zed does. And I'm wasting it. But that's useful. So, buy your guns, and then you change between your guns for pressing Z. Which I pressed there and was actually quite useful, even though I didn't mean to press it there. Oh, I'm having such a massive nostalgia flashback with this right now. Like I said, if you didn't grow up with spec, get some of that in your life! And some more, then this is probably not going to do it for you. Why won't you die? Oh, he died. Thank you. Very nice of you. Scrolling is a bit, you know, gacky on your eyes. Yeah, I said gacky on your eyes. What are you going to do about it? Play a better version, probably, then it won't be gacky on your eyes. Ah! Oh, I thought I was going to get him. Right, well, there you go. This was the Spectrum version. It may not look like it to you, and I think it's safe to say we all know the Commodore version is probably going to be better than this, but this is a big deal to Spectrum kiddies back in the day, and this is, you know, one of the best games on the system. Honestly, Gov. Anyway, let's have a look at the Commodore 64 version. So here we go, Midnight Resistance on the Commodore 64. I really don't know if this is made by Special FX. No, it is! It is! 1990 Special FX at the bottom. Because I did look it up before I started to play, 
and uh, I couldn't find any information on it. But look, you got S, so you got toggle sound, you got shift lock to pause it, and I'll be playing it on a joystick. Now, um, obviously, the music is going to beat the spectrum because it's the SID chip. But, as you saw on the title screen, you've got to toggle the sound, which for some reason didn't work when I pressed the keyboard. But, that means you can either have music or sound effects. Hey, the Spectrum's got both, even though the music is pants compared to this. But, hey, what are you going to do? Right, so, let's get into it now. I try and do, you know, comparisons of games that are pretty close to each other, but it's a safe port. port. It's a safe bet to say that this one is far superior to the Spectrum one. Not only do you have lots of colour, your, your sprites aren't that, again, like Cabal, think how I explained it there, aren't that chunky uh, compared to normal Commodore 64 games. But when I say that, because obviously you'll say, well, they are on the Spectrum, well, that's because it was, you know, exaggerated attributes, wasn't it? But look, you've got super, super smooth scrolling. Which, for some reason, is normally the other way around, isn't it? The Commodore sometimes does, not all the time, does split screen, and the Spectrum does super smooth scrolling, which is weird, because, as I said, which I didn't mention in that um, first part of this video, Spectrum can do really, really smooth scrolling. This is easier. It's not, um, again, it suffers from, well, does it suffer? I wouldn't say that. It's similar sort of um, issues as Cabal, which is because of the exaggerated style of the Spectrum graphics, the screen is a lot smaller and a lot tighter, making it difficult to dodge enemies. Listen to the music here. There's a very, very sort of ever such a slight pinch of having been nicked from Space Harrier. Not a bad thing. Right, but look, you've got all your stuff from far. You've got that, well, if the trigger's not doing anything right now, obviously my um, lives are bottom right, as is my score, and the gun is up that I'm using, but you've got your money system at the bottom left like you have on the Spectrum. I just realised you don't get a car on this one. Yay, points for the Spectrum on that, I know. See, as I was saying, but I lost my tangent, I always try and show games that are really close together, and so both machines in their best light. But sometimes it's just fun to pick stuff where we know what the, the outcome's going to be despite the title of this series of videos but also because people have talked about this game a lot and mentioned this game a lot even though I did gameplays of these years ago but not the same video so I had to put it in it they just like leap into their death don't they oh there you go oh change the music let's try pressing S nope Z no I can't toggle when I say Z just in case Z was S <laughs> never mind oh they both sort of have similar controls, obviously more room to jump around on your screen here in all, you know, Rambo-esque glory, but because you haven't, jeez, haven't got, um, toggle, you're a bit kind of hit or miss! Ha! Where, uh, okay, yeah, hit or miss about, you know, how you do it. Right. Oh, balls! which incidentally is what he's firing at me. He has got a budget problem. Because you don't do the budget, Terry, I do. What are we paying by the laser now? Um, he only shoots one at once. Does shoot him on the floor like that, actually. That was not the way to do that. See, I said it was easier. Um, not all the time. Oh, fuck balls. There we go, finally! He was a bastard! Right. I really would, because we know it could do it. There is something very nice about it, how you look. It's more contrary than contra on the Commodore 64. That bloke there, you know, his sprite, but... I really wish you could have sound effects and music at the same time. I'm sure someone's explained it to me before, but... Yeah. It's a shame. Look, oh, the gun's on a different side. I don't know what the right side is, or the wrong side is. Or the left side is, see what I did there? So I can't tell you which was more accurate, but... I'm going to say this is, apart from that Jeep thing, which was a bastitch, I'm going to say that this is easier than the Spectrum. I've only got three lollipops. Bollocks. Well, we'll just get him then. Oh, three-way. Hey! I've got a sexy gun now, see what I did? Three-way. Oh, come on. Boo! I've still got two guns. Guns? Nitro, which is Z, which is what I had in the Spectrum version, but I like the effects more on the Spectrum because there was a lot more of it. I'm out of cash. But as you can see, there's quite a lot of weapons to choose from, and it's an interesting, and this goes back to the arcade, way that you upgrade. Right, this is proper Contra. I mean, let's be honest, the arcade game by Data Reach was clearly inspired by Contra. Why not? 
you know. Flattering. Copy something that's awesome. Balls. Right, we'll have one more go and then we've, we're consistent with how I played on the Spectrum. Click. It is epic music. Right. Just got to make sure that you're not forceful. That's the wrong choice of words. When you press left to right, oh, you, you, you keep yourself in the middle, sort of, um, the dead middle of your pad. Then I will play on my joystick to make sure you just turn from left and right and don't get stuck in these, um, you know, diagonals and stuff like that. It's not career ending, it's just, you know, like I said, limitations of the input we're playing it with, the peripherals, if you will. I love that word. Ooh, look at that! It is more playable, or smoothly, smoothly more playable? No, that's weird. Tighter controls in the Spectrum, but that might just be because I'm playing it on joystick. I could have done that on the Spectrum. I can't do it the other way around and play it on keys for some reason, on the Commodore. Very limited what games will let me do that. Yeah. See, that's the bit that reminds me of Space Area. Oh, shit. Not that bit. Because there was no... Ah! And stuff. Is it just me? I don't know if it's because it's a split screen thing on the Spectrum, but it seems to take a lot less time to get to the tank. Oh, fuck nuggets. On this one. Just die. Shizen. I guess we're doing better than we were. Oh, no, he's got one life left. Oh, well. Look at my flashing biceps. I do like the fact that you can fire diagonally as you go up. Right, what guns shall we get? It's all about the guns. Yeah, it definitely feels like it's a longer process. You know? We'll have the freeway. We won't have anything because I haven't got any money. Shit. Yeah, so the scrolling may be nice and smooth and everything, but yeah, the, the fact that you have screen to screen on the Spectrum makes it feel like it's a bigger game. I mean, I never got past level three, I think, on the Spectrum anyway. I think the Amiga's the best time for I'll be fair, even I can say that. I mean, I played it back in the day on a mate's Amiga. Ooh! Yoink, mortars. You really ruin your day. Am I dead? No, he's still going. And we're still alive. It's gonna be that thing, isn't it? I keep thinking I can jump on those platforms. See, if I had additional guns, I can jump on those platforms. This might not be uh, the best way to do this. Yeah, if I had additional guns, he'd be a piece of piss. But there you go. It's similarly, uh, you know, as far as eats our version of the game. It, you know, Spectrum Commodore. So, yeah, you got a reasonably good comparison. Yeah, elephant in the room. The Commodore version is way, 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 way better than the Spectrum version. Even if it doesn't have music and sound effects at the same time. But that's not to say that the Spectrum version is a bad game. It's not. It's one of the best uh, running gun games on the machine. And it does really push the hardware because of the size of the sprites. The number of the sprites and the amount of colour on the screen without attribute clash as such because that monochrome effect. But this is super smooth scrolling, great music, and looks and plays more like the arcade. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think. I mean, yeah, this one's better, but did you have either of these? Did you have neither of these? Did you have any of these versions? Even, you know, the Mega Drive would just liked it in the arcade. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.